Nuts. No, I'm hanging out with Brandon with Fear in a different studio in the Project 961 halls where, um, at, in the, where they do like the pregame for the Braves sometimes. Beautiful. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, you gotta like talk in the mic, Chris. You can't like... The what? front man... Why do the front what? man always hide from the mic? No, nah, we're not hiding. We it's just expect the mic to come to us. It's like... I'll just sit back here, and my voice will resonate as far as the ear can hear, and it will yeah, work fine. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Hello. Welcome to summer and um, 95 degree weather that you guys drove up here in. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was yes. awesome. In traffic. Atlanta traffic. <laughs> Love, baby. What traffic are you talking about? <laughs> oh, yeah. I got here in 23 minutes. 23 minutes? I work like right up the road. In this oh, okay. helicopter. Oh, yeah. Okay. In my private helicopter. For those, for I, I know you guys have seen a couple of shows, and you guys have been on Homegrown before, but for all the new people around here, let's go around the room and introduce ourselves. I don't care which direction y'all start. Y'all looking at me like I'm go no left. Uh, oh, flight attendant. I'm Nathan and I play drums. I'm Jake. I'm the bass player. I'm Chris, lead vocals. Dante, lead guitars. And so this is the second EP. Sure, Most of the songs from this one are on the second EP. Um, we do have one from the old EP, Into the Void. Um, differences between the two. The main difference is uh, musicianship. We've really grown over the past year. We uh, added a new. Uh, member to the whole mix Dante and with his guitar playing his influences he brought a whole new level to the band um, and we were able to mold all the influences together and come up with a whole new sound which is it's just amazing man I mean we're really happy with it we're getting a lot of mm. a lot of exposure media is just all over us and we're getting all these tours offered to us now and it's insane we, it's a little quicker than we expected but oh, well, we welcome yes. it no bother. what's it been like for you um, Chris because you weren't the original original vocalist and you kind of took that role over what what's the changes been like from you have you did you have more say so in how these songs go at that point nope no um, <laughs> no Nathan's right no because we always try and put our heads together and come up with the best possible way you know the form and so on um, we all bring our own little things to, to the songs the biggest challenge for me was um, building myself up as a vocalist I mean I'm always I've always been the backing vocalist for just about every band I've ever been in mm -hmm. and now all of a sudden I'm up front centered the focus is on me and, and my voice so I took a bunch of vocal lessons which cost a fortune but you know <laughs> they paid off and um, you know and then of course learning how to really be the front man playing guitar and singing so it's been tough but I've enjoyed every second of it and um, you know I think our fans don't stand so no I mean you can be serious. like if you stand like this you put one foot down yeah one foot out if you do it in an angle, you take this up around. Is Jake here? I don't know. Where's he? Yeah, at? like stay more yeah. like that, mate. Don't be so straight on. Like kind of be at an angle. L A make you look slimmer. Oh, and B work out make you look slimmer. <laughs> Sneak in those like yeah, yeah, yeah. If you wanna, if you wanna lean against the wall, like you're fully. Have you ever, like when it's you know seven when we're, when we're signing uh seven you know album deals and stuff. What does that happen? Is when I'm <laughs> <laughs> then you'll do whatever they want you to do, right? Well, I mean, what is that? In that case, does that does that? Do you guys go back and rework the sort of things? Or are you like, no, I like the way that is right now, the way that it's going to be forever. Like, move, you know, let move on is done. Yeah. Well, you know, time is also an issue. I mean, when you're when you're with a seven album deal, you know, you can sort of take as much time as you need. But right now, we we really just not to say that we're throwing it together, but we're definitely under a time constraint. So we just we get it as perfect as we can. And we get it to where we're, you know, completely happy with it at that time. And even if it does need a little tweaking down the road, then we can always just change it how we play it live. And, and that's exactly. suffice enough. This is what I hear between the first EP and the second EP. Um, it, you can almost hear the confidence and almost hear more aggression and more, more, let's get at it, we've done this before. Is that what you guys went into the mindset with in the studio the second time? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, we've got you know, almost three years under our belt now, as branded with fear. Uh, we've got a year under our belt with the new format that we have the new formula and, and we're confident with it you know people love it um, we get a lot of uh, hits a lot of plays you know daily we're getting uh, myspace hits branding with fear.net hits i mean people seem to really like it and the more you hear positive things the more you, confidence you're going to have so going into the studio we knew we had something golden so it was a case of just getting it down there and making sure we could capture that in the studio and i think we did a pretty good job with that i think the biggest difference between this ep and the last one is uh, Chris wrote pretty much all the songs on the last EP, and it's a very chord-driven, you know, based music. And when Dante throw, got thrown into the mix, it was a lot of cool riffs, a lot of lead stuff going on. So it yeah. changed the format completely of how we even play our songs. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Now we have to have you know room for solos and more kick at <laughs> kick butt things like that. More solos. Yeah, that's solos. Kick ass. It's all cool. Yeah. Yeah. Kick ass things like that. 
And it, it, I was letting a buddy of mine listen to the old stuff uh, on Sunday and the new stuff, and he just said it's a complete 180 difference. Yeah. It's just, yeah, I mean, there's definitely that Brandon with Fear sound there, which, I mean, for bands these days to have a sound is an accomplishment in its own right. But um, to take that sound and then just put it on steroids is basically how I feel like you guys are doing like that. Take time to thank for Gary Amps for that sound. Thank you. Look here. No. <laughs> Try to kick that anyway. I have a kick-ass blooper reel. Play <laughs> your outtakes in the video. With the writing process for you guys, you know, with with the, with Dante in the band now, like how has that changed? Is it is has it completely changed, or do you what guys still write the head? same way? You have your band drama, everybody does. But I tell you that, I mean, as much um, headbutt as we may have, we always, always come together in the end. And Dante's a big plus on that, man. You know, he, you know, me, Nate, and uh, Jake have been together for a little while now, and we kind of think on the same page. And it's, it's refreshing to have that other aspect, yeah. that other opinion that comes in and says, no, you guys are wrong. Let's do this. <laughs> it's and refreshing to be told wrong. Here, wrong. Yeah. But it's, it's weird. Like, I, they come from, you know, hard rock, and I've got, like, just death metal, all this stuff on my plate, and so when we mix, like, harder and then a little bit, you know, there was hard rock, and mine was just blast beats and heavy metal, and when we mixed all that together, it's kind of like, it, it is hard because there's a lot of compromising having to go, but when we do get something finalized, it's something all four of us can be, like, happy about, and we come to on common ground, yep. and that's nice that you were talking about earlier, it comes to a, a sound all your own, and I think that's just a mixture of, like, kind of hard, moderate rock, and then metal coming together and you know it works like that i guess uh, do all yeah. branded with fear songs start the same way do they all start with a riff or do they all start with a lyric no not necessarily yeah, yeah. we got yeah, drum, drum solos lead solos yeah. chord solos or something I mean, you know it's just a jam a riff sounds cool yeah. or it's whatever know. fits and then you just grow from there do you, do you have chris do you have like just a box full of lyrics somewhere that you just pull yeah. out and then do you guys just have like a, you know ideas full of you know, riffs and drum solos that can start with, or do you sure. does it kind of just yeah. all happen magically? Sometimes it's magic. Sometimes you know, it, it takes a lot of really just hard work and, and hammering on a certain riff until we just get it the way we want it. What, what was that one song where we kept, you know, going back? Well, is it, do we need this note here, or that note here? And finally, we were just like, ah, well, it doesn't well, really. This city was small, so yeah, that, that one was yeah. that was the biggest challenge. That really kind of took its toll on us, and we stepped away for a couple of months and was like, all right, let's, you know, we all wanted to play it live, but yeah. we just didn't feel like it was ready. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, but the way it came out, I mean, we were all, like, just super happy with yeah. it. I mean, it well, it's definitely our hardest song as far as the metal edge on it goes, but it's, it's are fun. Well, that's really gay. <laughs> I'm, like, thrusting in the kids. I felt him, like, right here. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Straight up rock band when you're on stage. It's great stage presence the whole time. Is that something you guys will keep doing, or as the money and the opportunities <laughs> arise, will you be? Will are you guys in the more of the whole like theater like experience uh, trend of a show? Oh, I, oh yeah. I think the more stimulation you can get at a show, the better. You know, I, I definitely want to incorporate some pole dancers and you know, <laughs> other stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Strippers and blow. Strippers yeah. and blow. Yeah. Strippers yeah. and blow. Strippers and blow. Two thousand ten. I look for a bitch to do a jump on the Strippers and blow tour. That's you guys, all right. If you guys on the strippers, if you guys go on the strippers and blow tour in 2010 and you have midgets jumping out of the bass drum, then, oh, how cool is that? by God, I'm there the yeah. entire time. I'll be like it'll, it'll be the first ever male groupie for Brandon. Yeah, yeah. I hope so. Anyway, thank you guys for stopping by. I appreciate uh, it. Anything else us. you guys want to tell?